Jarvi. Automatically adding content to your accounts. One of the last things you need to learn to do in Jarvi is understand how you can automatically add content to your accounts so you keep growing them on autopilot. For this exact purpose, Jarvi has a couple of very neat tools. Besides getting content automatically through RSS feeds and keeping your campaigns always running, you can also get content that is 100% sure to be of high quality if you choose the right sources. That is done via the Repin or Retweet tools. The Repin tool is available for Pinterest and the Retweet tool is available for Twitter. They work in the same way, except that for Pinterest, you will first need to select the board you want to do repins on. Since each Pinterest account can have multiple boards, you can have multiple repin tools running at the same time, one for each board. As stated, both tools are pretty much the same. You have a few different settings for each depending on what you can do on each platform. Let's talk about the Twitter retweet tool, and if you understand this one, you'll master them both. As before, go to the Tools page and click on a Twitter profile. Then go to the Retweet tool. You will notice it's split into three sections. Settings. This is where you will configure the filters that tell Jarvi what the tweets that you want retweeted can and cannot contain and how many times per day to retweet. Retweet Sources. This is where you specify the exact place where Jarvi will look for tweets. It's really important to add enough high-quality sources here so there are enough possible tweets that will pass the filters you set up in settings. Results. You will see the results of what this tool did for you here. Now, let's go back to the Settings tab and set up our first retweet. Run Timers. You should already be familiar with this one, as it's in most Jarvi tools. You tell it how much to retweet and on what days. We'll choose to do three retweets per day and randomize publishing timers each day so new timers are chosen on each day. Let's also not retweet Sundays. Retweet filters. Here is where you choose the filters that will make sure you only retweet the exact content you want. We should skip mentions as they're made for someone in particular. Also, skip retweets and use real-time results to get only the fresh tweets. Let's also tell Jarvi to only get tweets that are 48 hours old. That means two days. After retweet action. You can also comment on the retweet after you make it in order to add your own voice to it if you wish. Now, let's configure the Sources tab. As you can see, you have quite a lot of options that will allow you to target the exact accounts you would need in order to find the best tweets to retweet. You can either look for tweets by using keywords, by adding a list of accounts that will be monitored, by adding lists created by other people or yourself, or by adding exact tweets you want retweeted. Let's enable retweet by keyword search and add a few keywords here like social media, social marketing, and Twitter. Now that we have our settings in the sources, let's go back to the settings page and start the tool. If we wait a little, we can see the retweet it did on the results tab. Here you go. Congratulations. With this last tutorial, you should know the basics of how to use Jarvi and most of the tools it provides. All the other tools work in pretty much the same way with a few extra or missing options here and there, depending on each platform and what's possible to do on it. You are now a big step closer to automating your social media marketing and regaining a lot of time that you were spending on repetitive tasks. Good luck. P.S. Should you ever need help with anything else, never hesitate to contact us using either the contact form on the site or the one provided within the software. Even the best entrepreneurs need help. Get Jarvi, your loyal assistant.